All right, let's break this down. You've probably seen Coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 on the supplement aisle and wondered what it actually is. Think of it as the spark plug for your body's engine. It's not a vitamin. It's not a mineral. It's a compound your body naturally produces and it's found in nearly every single cell. Its primary job is to help create energy. Specifically, it's a crucial component in the process of making adenosine triphosphate or ATP. ATP, which is the fundamental energy currency for all your cellular activities. Without enough KOQ10, the entire energy production line starts to slow down, impacting your muscles, impacting your heart. It's that fundamental to our basic biological operations. Now let's get a little more granular without putting you to sleep with a biochemistry lecture. Inside your cells you have these little power plants called mitochondria. CoQ10 acts like a shuttle bus inside these power plants, transporting electrons between enzyme complexes. Let's get into the real-world benefits. When your CoQ10 levels are topped up, you might notice improved energy levels. This isn't the jittery artificial buzz you get from a triple-shot espresso, it's a more fundamental cellular level energy. That means more usable power from food, feeling less fatigued throughout the day having more stamina for workouts. Now let's talk about the heart. Your heart is the most energy-demanding muscle, it beats around 100,000 times a day. CoQ10 concentrations are highest in heart muscle cells, it supports the heart's pumping action and protects blood vessels from oxidative stress. For the gym-goers, CoQ10 helps athletic performance, it can reduce muscle soreness and allow a quicker bounce back between sessions. Beyond energy and heart health, there's growing evidence for brain health, fertility benefits in men, and potential migraine reduction. So what happens when the tank starts to run low? A deficiency in CoQ10 means your cellular power plants, the mitochondria, can't operate at full capacity. This creates an energy crisis at the most basic level of your biology. The electron transport chain becomes less efficient, leading to a significant drop in ATP production. It's like trying to run a high-performance vehicle on low-grade fuel with a clogged fuel line. Your body simply doesn't have the energy it needs to carry out its thousands of daily functions effectively. This isn't just about feeling a little tired. It's a systemic slowdown that can have wide-ranging consequences. The organs with the highest energy needs are the first affected, heart, brain, and muscles. Chronically low CoQ10 can impair the heart muscle's ability to contract efficiently and may worsen conditions like congestive heart failure. Blood vessels become more vulnerable to oxidative damage and inflammation. That damage can lead to atherosclerosis, hardened, narrowed arteries. Essentially, a deficiency strips away a key protective shield from your cardiovascular system. Your skeletal muscles feel it as weakness, pain, cramping, and poorer endurance. Your brain, starving for ATP, can suffer brain fog, memory lapses, and slow thinking. Over time, chronic cellular stress is linked to age-related cognitive decline and other chronic illnesses. It's crucial to recognize the symptoms that might indicate your CoQ10 levels are suboptimal. The most common symptom is persistent fatigue. This isn't just tired after a long day, it's deep exhaustion that doesn't lift with rest. You might wake up as tired as when you went to bed. Frequent muscle pain, unexplained weakness, and cramps can be a sign. Simple daily tasks may feel unexpectedly hard. If you take statins, these drugs can inhibit natural CoQ10 production. Patients on statins often report myopathy, muscle pain and weakness. Shortness of breath with easy activities, swelling in ankles or chest pressure are red flags. These may signal reduced cardiovascular performance, seek medical care. Persistent brain fog, trouble concentrating, memory lapses are also common. If you find yourself rereading the same paragraph or forgetting appointments, consider evaluation. If symptoms are new, persistent or worsening, talk to your doctor, don't self-diagnose. Doctors can order blood tests to measure CoQ10 and give you a clear picture. Any new or worsening heart symptoms need immediate evaluation. If you suspect you might be low on CoQ10, the first step is always to talk to your doctor. They can review your medications, symptoms, and order testing if appropriate. CoQ10 comes in two main forms, ubiquinone, oxidized, and ubiquinol, reduced active antioxidant. Your body can convert ubiquinone to ubiquinol, but that ability may decline with age. Older individuals, those on many medications or with absorption issues, may find ubiquinol more bioavailable. Look for reputable brands with third-party testing to ensure purity and dose accuracy. Typical daily maintenance doses range from 100 to 200 mg. Those on statins or with diagnosed deficiencies may need higher doses. Always follow a clinician's advice. Since CoQ10 is fat-soluble, take it with a meal that contains fat. 
for higher doses, split them across the day to reduce side effects like insomnia or stomach upset. CoQ10 is generally very safe. Most people tolerate it extremely well. When side effects occur, they're typically mild, upset stomach or insomnia, and can often be managed by adjusting dose or timing. The bottom line, CoQ10 is a powerful, naturally occurring compound essential for energy, heart health, and overall vitality. Understanding its role and optimizing your levels is a proactive step toward long-term health. If you enjoy this video and would like to see more videos like these, hit subscribe and the bell icon to turn on notifications to get notified when more videos are released. Also, like and share this video with someone you think would like or benefit from watching this video. Thank you, your support is greatly appreciated.